Forecast Center, meteorologist Brian Nisnansky. Cold air starting to settle in. The rain is moving out, but it's going to be chilly today. Also windy, but at least by the afternoon, we'll start to see some sun. We won't be alone with the chilly temperatures spreading across much of the lower 48 down to the southeast. Again, we're expecting cooler air uh, not only today, but leading into at least the first part of the Memorial Day weekend. Now tonight, cover up your plants or flowers or uh, bring them in if possible. We do have a frost advisory in effect across northeastern Wisconsin for all of the pink counties you see here. Again, this is for tonight and then far north, even a freeze warning in effect for northern O'Connell County, northern Marinette County. Again, we're expecting temperatures to at least dip into the 30s, maybe some freezing numbers northwest of Green Bay. All right, here's the precision satellite and radar this morning. The rain, what's left of it, very light and scattered now across northeastern Wisconsin. Clearing already starting to push into the northwestern part of the state, and soon we'll start to see that clearing. Uh, plenty of sun expected by this afternoon. Maybe a few sprinkles still to go in Door County and down towards uh, the Fox Valley here, uh, especially down towards Fond du Lac. But besides that, again, the rain is coming to an end, but it still will be windy through the day today. We'll have gusty winds out of the north sustained at 21 miles per hour in Green Bay right now, 20 uh, in Oshkosh, uh, 15 miles per hour in Kiwani. Now these are sustained winds. The gusts are into the 30s miles per hour. So again, uh, very gusty out there this morning. Uh, 43, uh, the current temperature in Green Bay. We're looking off towards Lambeau Field. Cloudy skies in place and uh, your live look down College Avenue this morning in Appleton. Current temperature at 45 as well. Chilly temperatures across northeastern Wisconsin. It's 41 in Crivets, uh, 44 in Kiwani this morning, uh, 47 this morning in Wapaka. Here's your temperature trend. The high temperatures the next seven days. The normal high is 68, so we'll be below that the next few days. But then we'll work our way back up, I think, by Monday into the lower 70s and maybe even 80 uh, by next week on Wednesday. Let's go through your forecast highlights. The rain is moving out this morning. We'll have cool, gusty winds out of the north through the day today. And again, we're looking for some frost, maybe even a freeze tonight uh, across much of northeastern Wisconsin. All right, the Midwestern satellite and radar this morning. Backside of our system now, a cold front dropping through, bringing the showers this morning, but high pressure on its heels here. Let's go through precision cast uh, this morning again. The clouds in the showers tapering off by this afternoon, mostly sunny. High pressure for tonight, mainly clear skies. And here we go as we head into tomorrow. More high pressure, more sun, a nice day on Friday. As we head into Saturday, I uh, notice here comes a warm front, has some showers with it. I think pressure wins the battle for us for most of the weekend. However, we could see a couple of these showers, maybe a thunderstorm move in here on Sunday. All right, your forecast for today, decreasing clouds, a high of 60, windy and cool for tonight, a low of 37, mainly clear and cold. And again, patchy frost will be possible. Here's your seven day, uh, 64 on Friday, 65 on Saturday, Sunday, again, a slight chance of a shower or storm. That chance of rain has really been bouncing around uh, the forecast uh, over the last few days. Now it's on Sunday, but again, it's no matter what day it falls on Deandra, it's not going to be an all day soaker, uh, just kind of a chance of rain. Just kind of uh, stay up with the forecast and keep an eye on the radar. Maybe a cloud or two, yeah. not enough to spoil any plans. It's not. I think outdoor plans should be a go. It's just going to be still a little bit on the cool side this all weekend. Right. Now yeah. let's